Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. I'm sure everyone who's watching this has seen a good amount of Pixar movies in their life. Whether it's Woody and his gang hurtling to their scorching deaths, or literally any Carl and Ellie scene from Up. Or literally any Carl and Ellie scenes from Up. Pixar loves to cash in on the tears of its audience, but sometimes the studio pulls off clever tricks to add hidden messages and Easter eggs in its movies. From Toy Story cameos to the famous Luxo Ball, here are 10 secret messages you probably didn't catch in Pixar movies. Number 10, Apple Inc. Many know Steve Jobs is the founder of his company, Apple, but you probably didn't know that he was a huge animation fan and had a prominent stake in Pixar. Without Steve, the studio wouldn't be what it is today, and it's natural and respectful to pay homage to the late Apple founder. The company's products have frequently been featured in Pixar films, most notably Toy Story 3. Think about the Apple Inc. logo, which encourages us to think different. On the other hand, Monsters Inc. encourages us to scare different. A racer named is named Mac Icar in Cars, while Lord Macintosh, Apple's first computer, tries to impress Merida in Brave. But the best Apple reference is in Wally. -E. As the little robot charges up, the noise he makes sounds exactly like an Apple computer turning on. Everyone should learn from Pixar on how to pull off product placement in a charming and fun way. Number 9, 95. The Toy Story franchise is easily the most famous one in the Pixar universe. After the release of the first movie in 1995, it brought happiness to millions of people. And even after 15 years, it still keeps on providing fun for the audience. So it shouldn't be a surprise. It is filled with hidden messages and Easter eggs. Toy Story 3 opened with a thrilling runaway train sequence, which gave tribute to multiple things in the Pixar universe. The number on the Iron Horse's front and sides in 95 referenced the year the original Toy Story hit theaters. That isn't all. That number also holds significance in the Cars movie, as it is Lightning McQueen's racing number. Speaking of our favorite racer, Toy Story 3 works in a clever nod to everyone's favorite race car. At Sunny Daycare, you can see a little boy wearing a red t-shirt with a number 95 and a lightning bolt on it, just like that of Lightning McQueen's. That's like an Easter egg within an Easter egg, which showcases the genius of the Pixar universe and their ability to include many layers in their movies. Number 8. Favorite Chinese Takeout One thing every Pixar fan knows is that the animators at Pixar's favorite cuisine is Chinese, and while creating movies, they must have eaten it a lot. Only that can explain why a particular Chinese takeout box keeps resurfacing in movies, not just one, but many. This oyster pail first appeared with a pagoda drawn on his hand in the famous movie A Bug's Life. It played a key role in Manny's act in the Chinese Metamorphosis Cabinet. Since then, identical Chinese takeout containers have appeared in movies like Toy Story 2 and Ratatouille. The box of Rick Pork probably has more screen time than many characters. While there's nothing exceptionally interesting about the takeout box in question, the box holds some type of emotional value that they keep appearing in different movies. As distinct as those films may be, they seem to be intertwined together by a Pixar worker who just wants to eat Chinese food. Number 7, A113. A113 code is often displayed in Pixar animated movies. Even though it seems like a secret code of some kind, A113 is something else that only people affiliated with the California Institute of the Arts know about. It is a classroom code where students study character animation and graphic design. It isn't just there to make things interesting. Among the university's alumni are two of Pixar's prominent directors, John Lasseter, who went on to direct Toy Story, and Brad Bird, who directed The Incredibles, as a tribute to the place that was used by both. This alphanumeric code has been displayed in every Pixar film. This hidden code is very easy to miss, but if you look closely, you can spot A113 on license plates, boxes, cameras, and so much more. Number 6. Sully Cameo in Brave Not only does the witch from Brave specialize in magic, but
but she also carves wood pretty well, making different authentic things. We are sure that all of her wood carvings have some meaning behind them, but one stands out really well as it, it has a picture as it has a picture of James P. Sullivan. It can look like a casual thing at first, however, one of the most famous Pixar myths actually plays into it. Many fans believe that Monsters Inc. takes place in a world in which humans have been left behind and their civilization is no longer the supreme one. However, because monsters need the cries of children for whatever creepy reason, they built time travel doors to visit the past, which humans are yet to come with. Sully's little buddy Boo might have gone back to medieval Scotland and discovered magic if this were really the case. Far-fetched, but the nameless witch might just be Boo in disguise. Otherwise, why else would she go to great lengths to carve the tall, cuddly kitty? Number 5. Toy Story 3 After watching this list, you will realize that most of the movies that Pixar makes are realistic in a way that they are likely made in the same animated universe. This secret hidden message is one of the many that adds to our universal theory. In Toy Story 3, when our beloved Buzz Lightyear gets captured by the evil Teddy and his squad, they open his battery compartment in order to reset him so he forgets that he ever met Woody or Andy. As harsh as it seems, if you look closely, you will realize that Buzz's batteries have a B&L symbol imprinted on them. If you don't remember what that is, B&L is shorter for by and large, which is one of the mega corporations responsible for depleting the world's fossil fuels and creating a large number of dumps. Everything which leads to the downfall in Wally, Could it be that Woody, Buzz, and the gang are out there in the post-apocalyptic wreckage nearly 800 years in the future? We know where Rex the Dinosaur is. Number 4. The Toys in Various Pixar Films We weren't kidding when we claimed the Toy Story to be the biggest franchise of Pixar Studio. Characters from an animated movie making a cameo in some other films aren't common, but Toy Story has brought down every barrier. Remember Rex's cameo in Wally? -E? He's not the only Toy Story character that's been found in other other Pixar movies either. Many other characters can be seen in other movies. It's like the whole studio is a toy chest of Easter eggs. For example, in Monsters, Inc., Boo's room is littered with toys, including a Luxo Ball and Jesse doll. We will come back to the Luxo Ball later, but we have to mention that she even has a clownfish toy, which hints at Nemo. And while we aren't on the subject of finding Nemo, Boo's teddy bear and Buzz Lightyear can be seen in the dentist's office, where Nemo is kept in the fish tank. A boy in the waiting room reads a Mr. Incredible comic as well. That's not all. Up would additionally foreshadow Toy Story 3 as Lotso Huggins Bear sits in a girl's bedroom. Meanwhile, Red, the fire truck, and Lightning McQueen appear as toy cars in Sunnyside Daycare. Number 3. Pixar Shorts in Various Films Pixar is not only famous for its feature-length movies, even though the studio has received most of its fame through them. The studio has also given us a wide range of short films as well, including the likes of The Adventures of Andre and Wally B, Red's Dream, Tin Boy, and Nick Knack. All of these movies helped put the studio on the map, so it would be a decent thing to give them tribute to those classics. And that's what Pixar exactly did in its Toy Story franchise. In the first movie of the series, Toy Story, Andy's books share the same title as many of Pixar's original short films. And in the second part, Toy Story 2, as Ham flips through channels on the television, clips from several Pixar shorts briefly come up, giving them a hidden tribute that only the most loyal fans noticed. Jerry from Jerry's Game also makes a cameo as a toy repairman in the film. Toy Story isn't the only one giving other cartoon characters cameos, though. Most recently, the titular character from 2016 short Piper appeared in Finding Dory. It's good to know that Pixar still holds some respect for the little guys. Number 2. The Pizza Planet Truck Perhaps the biggest piece of evidence of the Pixar theory as far as small Easter eggs go is the Pizza Planet Truck, which debuted in 1995 in Toy Story and has had all manner of cameos, from wood carvings to abandon on an empty planet since then. 
It has found its way into every single Pixar movie, except for The Incredibles, which only had a truck resembling the iconic vehicle. It likely always will pop up in Pixar movies in some form or another, adding much fuel to the Pixar theory fire, with Pizza Planet's business seemingly booming around the Pixar world. Number 1. Luxo Ball For many of you who don't know, a short film named Luxo Jr., which Pixar released in 1986, gave the studio its most iconic figures a living desk lamp, and a yellow ball. The lamp and ball were so famous that they went on to become the studio's mascot. The Luxo Ball has also gone on to star in several Pixar projects. Boo from Monsters, Inc. has a Luxo Ball in her own room, as we have mentioned earlier, and it can also be seen on the stage floor in Red's Dream, on a wall in Monsters University. The ball is also visible in a child's room in Up, but this Luxo Ball is most recognized by the audience in in the Toy Story films, especially when Buzz Lightyear flies for the first time. Every time it is displayed, it showcases the ability of Pixar Studio to go to infinity and beyond. Which one of these hidden messages and easter eggs were your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.